Hey guys, welcome back to my 453T build. I'm just putting the turbos back on it. Uh, I had some issues before the engine failed with high EGTs and um, whatnot. And it turned out that the bypass uh, valve wouldn't open until 30 psi and the engine only made 30 psi so I wasn't getting a full bypass. Uh, so I corrected that by changing the actuator and putting a um, lower PSI actuator on. And this one opens at 15 PSI and is fully open at 30. So that should work really good. The turbine side of it on the, uh, or sorry, the exhaust side of things, it's got that internal bypass in it. I don't know if that's going to be big enough, but I'll uh, experiment with it. I hope it is and then I don't have to do any more work with this, but if it isn't, I'll put an external bypass on the, the turbo. So that's the smaller K27, a uh, very popular turbo for towing compounds. Hey guys, we've got the K27 bolted on, uh, the riser pipes in here, and then the K31's on top. Four inch exhaust back. I uh, just used a 6.4 liter exhaust and uh, modified that. I bypassed this uh, actuator as I'm never going to make 30 psi on the top turbo. So uh, the bottom actuator, I've got lots of lead here to tap into this and uh, put a valve in it if I have to. I've set it at 15 PSI as mentioned, and if that's too low, I can adjust it up. So that's the setup, compound turbos. And I did this uh, for towing. It works really nice. It builds um, boost right at 1200 RPM and up. But like I said earlier, it was running a little bit hot on the EGT, so I think it's the restriction in the K27. So. Hopefully that bypass will, uh, will fix that. Anyway, some more tunings involved as I drive it down the road. But uh, that's the turbos all set up. Two drains for them. So EGTs are taken before the first turbo and that's uh, the back pressure sensor there. So I can get drive pressure and EGTs. So that's how I'll be able to tune the turbo. And then this turbo, top turbo here, I've just had a, uh, a line hanging there. So I've tapped in there so I can get the PSI off the top turbo. I still have to get sensors for that. So I'll get two pressure sensors, one for the, uh, the blower and one for this top turbo. So there you have it guys, uh, compound turbos on a uh, Detroit 453T. And again, thanks for watching and uh, take care.